Rania al Abdullah is the Queen of Jordan and is a very influential advocate for the education of children. Faced as we are with a daily barrage of bad news, some might feel that the situation is hopeless. But stepping up support right now in Iraq and in neighboring countries is not only possible, it is also the best way to protect Iraq's future. On August 31st, 1970, the women's and children's rights movements in the Arab world gained one of the most active advocates for feminism, children, education, and many other impactful subjects they have ever seen. Her Majesty, Queen Rania al-Abdullah, then known as Rania al-Yassin, was born in Kuwait but soon had to flee due to the first Gulf War in 1991. Before meeting Prince Abdullah II, being al-Hussein of Jordan in 1993, Rania's life was much like any other's. She was raised with her two siblings, Dina and Magdi, in Tulkarm, Kuwait, by her parents, Faisal Sadki al Yassin and Ilham Yassin. Rania received her early education in Jabria, Kuwait City, at the New English School. Later, she began her studies at the American University in Cairo, working towards her graduate's degree in business administration. Rania's passion for education most likely stems from the positive schooling experience she endured in her early life. Later, in Jordan, she began her career in the fields of information technology and banking through her degree of business administration. Her first employment in Jordan was through Citibank, where she worked in the marketing department. She later moved on to a very well-known marketing business, Apple Corporations. Shortly after the kickoff of her business career, Rania attended a fateful dinner party in 1993, hosted by her future sister-in-law. Rania attended the dinner with a co-worker who was in touch with the royal family. Rania and the Prince of Jordan met, and it was almost love at first sight. Six months after their first encounter, they were married. On June 10, 1993, Rania became Princess of Jordan, a day that would change Arabian values forever. Unlike others who had married into royalty, Rania used her voice to confront relevant issues in Jordan, specifically those that had troubled her for quite some time. She had finally been given the opportunity to stand up for what she believed in and to make a difference in the fields of education and feminism. In 1999, when she was declared the Queen of Consort, she finally had a validated voice in Jordan. The first very significant instance in which Rania used her new voice was in 2003, when she started the Alamon Fund for the Future of Orphans an organization with the initiative to provide orphaned youth with a better future and a better education. Push for a ceasefire, a humanitarian ceasefire, a ceasefire for children, to help the wounded, to look for those buried under the rubble, to tend to the sick and elderly trapped in their homes, and to bring in vital medical supplies, equipment. After she was named UNICEF's first eminent advocate for children, she started a new fund to refurnish 500 of Jordan's public schools entitled Madrasati. These two organizations were particularly impactful because they proved her interest and involvement in education. Your Majesty, thanks very much for joining us. Welcome to Washington. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. You have a lot going on, uh, but education, especially educating young girls in Jordan, in the Arab world, in the Muslim world, that's your passion right now. Uh, you, have, you have a huge challenge ahead of you. Absolutely. I think education, uh, global education, should be a priority for all of us. You know, when we think of the Millennium Development Goals, I think the one uh, key to unlocking a lot of the challenges that we face in the world is through education. Rania not only has a deep passion for education alone, but also for the prioritizing of the education for young girls all over the world. In 2016, Rania spoke at the Let Girls Learn event, a project started by Michelle Obama to improve the chance of all girls getting the education they deserve. At this event, Rania touched on how in the Middle East war, violence and terrorism have not only caused human casualties, but have also taken a major toll on Middle East education. More than 13 million children, half of them girls, are being shut out of schooling. In a brief excerpt of her moving speech, she states that, For girls in Yemen, schools could be shelled while they study, and their classmates killed. Girls in South Sudan live with the threat of kidnapping in their schools, and for girls in Syria, fear drives them to desperation, abandoning classes and running through the night to an unknown and uncertain future. In 2013, the Queen Rania Foundation for Education and Development was established. The focus of the foundation is to assure Jordan's realization of the Queen's vision for the kingdom.
They want to improve opportunities for the children of Jordan and equip them with the skills and knowledge necessary to excel in the real world. The Queen Rania Foundation is using education reforms to reach the Jordanian students. More than doing the work themselves, they want to be a reference point and inspiration for other educational reforms and nonprofits around Jordan. As one of the world's most influential women, Queen Rania of Jordan has used her status to work tirelessly for the rights of young girls. And now she's calling on American girls to help through a new campaign from the UN Foundation. Her Majesty, Queen Rania of Jordan, is with us exclusively. Your Majesty, it's nice to see you. Welcome back. Thank you, Matt. It's great to be here. Uh, it's a catchy title, Girl Up. Mm -hmm. Girl Up. And, and I know this begins. T just explain it to me. Well, essentially, it's a campaign uh, that's trying to use the, uh, the social skills and the networks of American girls to benefit their peers in the developing world. So we're trying to transform the meaning of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networking. So it's not just about sharing movies and music, but it's also about sharing uh, movements and missions. So it's really a, a campaign by girls for girls. So a girl in Baltimore could help a girl in Botswana to get school supplies. Not only does Rania have several foundations and charities, but also an award for excellence dedicated to her name. The Queen Rania Award for Excellence in Education honors distinguished educators in Jordan at a royal ceremony under the kindness of Queen Rania. Those honored receive a financial award, a higher position at the Ministry of Education, and a quality academic and professional development. This award prompts educators across Jordan to become, as the site states, agents of change in their communities, much like the Queen. As stated in the award dedicated to her name, Rania is most definitely an agent of change in her community. She has displayed her attitude of standing up for what she believes in through her many self-started organizations that have greatly impacted Jordanian society. Queen Rania's passion for children and the education they deserve will forever leave a footprint in Jordanian life and the development of distinguished educators around the world.